What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Davagoosh and in today's video slash tutorial challenge thing, we are going to be making blood. Zoom in on that. Uh, we're going to be making fake blood. This is some store-bought blood and we're going to be comparing uh, our homemade blood to this store-bought blood to see which one's better. And yeah, let's just get into it. It's me, video. guys. I was here the whole time. Wow. So first we got some corn syrup. <laughs> okay, you want to make some fake blood on your own. You know, Halloween, you want to make your own fake blood. Well, we're going to leave down measurements okay. in the in the description. Like that. Looks good. That's what Chocolate we Chocolate syrup there. and corn syrup. Kind here. of like a show. You grab, you grab half the spoon and I'll grab out the spoon. Okay. We're all about teamwork here at Dabagoosh. Dabagoosh into corporation. We actually do not have mm. red food coloring. We're actually going to be using uh, this kind of orangish color. It's it's sort of red. I don't know if I were to like show you. It looks very red, um, but I'm sure it's not. It actually kind of already looks like blood, except yeah. it's not red yet. So we're going to add a little bit of. Green. It's like well, the maybe. consistency of blood is going to be good. Yeah, so... I'll right. keep stirring just to make it amazing. Then Christian will be right back after the break. Okay, I'm back. We got the knife. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That looks... his blood. I don't it's know if like I can see that. That's very... Very red looking. I'm going to scoop that guy in there. That's probably like enough. I wouldn't need any more. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see my knife right now. That's very red. It says orange, but it's very red. Uh, we have mixed the solution and it's looking a little more orange than I'd like it to be, so I think we may add in maybe more chocolate syrup or some green or something to, you know, darken it, make it more crimson. Um, yeah. Okay. That's some good b-roll, right? We just uh, added a little bit of chocolate syrup because it's looking like some strawberry jelly. And, and we don't want strawberry jelly, we actually want some blood. So now we're going to add in a drop of green, of green dye. Actually, Danny, you want to be our taste tester real quick? Taste test this blood for us. Mmm. Don't you just love eating blood? Blood. <laughs> don't eat that much. Is it bad? It's sugar. <laughs> on Christian's left side of his face, he's going to have our fake blood that we made, and then on his right side of his face, he's going to have the store-bought blood, and we'll see which one is better. Let's go! Okay, so as you can see, both are pretty good. We did not have the correct food coloring, so, uh, it tastes good, tastes like chocolate syrup and sugar, but if you're trying this at home, use red food coloring and it'll look just way better than this. And yeah, it, it looks pretty nice in the bowl. It's got a nice texture, it's really thick, and if you are looking for a sugary snack, this is the best thing to make. Okay, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this. Guys, thanks for watching. Spooky Halloween video. We will be doing another challenge, another Halloween challenge before Halloween. A wonderful Halloween. We Halloween is over, and as you can see, we made some good blood. And Christian's face is going to be stained for the next while. We love you.